think anyone who hangs around in a shed by themselves this much has a few weird ideas. My name is John Douglas Haddock, guitar builder. I had no experience in, in woodwork before I took this on. No experience woodworking, no experience spray painting, anything like that. Coming from that illustration background was kind of move to London, get a job animating. I didn't want to do that. I didn't go to university or get educated and thinking, I'm going to make instruments. It was a complete whim. But at one of those kind of decisive moments where I thought, wow, I really need to like make a decision here on what I want to do. And I bought a book about making instruments, solid bodied electric guitars, basses, and just kind of opened it up and thought, well, I'll, I can give this a go. But I really liked that initial process of kind of blocking something out taking the raw lumps of wood and turning them into something which is much closer to an instrument. I'm surrounded by lots of half-finished things constantly, uh, which is part of the joy and part of the curse. Anyone who takes it too seriously is, uh, is, is going down the wrong path, I think. It's all just time. Um, everyone can learn to do these things, even if you have absolutely no experience at all whatsoever. Working with wood, it's natural, so it it's, can be unreliable. A lovely demonstration of the mistake plate, uh, which happens regularly. Drilling the pickups in, straight through the back of the guitar. I'm happy with stuff like that. <laughs> no one's going to buy it and think, hang on, what's behind that? You know, drilling through something is devastating the first time. <laughs> it's not devastating the hundredth time, you just deal with it. It never ceases to amaze me that I can sell an instrument to someone. I'm not a mass appeal person, but I know I appeal to some people. Who's to say what's art and what isn't? You know, it's human expression, isn't it? I've got no plans to uh, to upscale anything beyond the size of the shed. As long as I feel like there's a point to doing it, I'll keep doing it.